guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. already 7 and I just get home from work. So, kaka-uwi ko lang and then um yes, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is isang real talk. And then with me, Grishella, kasi ako lang yung without the gang. And then, ang pag-uusapan natin is does letting someone go is a sign that you are weak Aww. or just a sign that you are strong enough to let go so i would give my honest opinion on, that, on this particular uh, topic guys no because siguro naman may mga tao na ganito yung mga pinagdadaanan may mga tao na you have to let go because yun yung tama. You have to let go because nasasaktan ka na. You have to let go because it's not worth it anymore. Diba? O oh, di kaya naman. Unti-unti nang nawawala yung sarili mo. Saka gusto nang mabuo ang partner mo. Maraming rason kung bakit siguro ang tao nang let go. And for me, letting go is not. Uh, letting go doesn't mean that you are weak. Well, in fact, sometimes letting go means you are strong enough to let go. Diba? Kasi pag mahal mo, ang hirap. Ang hirap to let go. But then you have to love yourself more. Diba? So, let go. And then accept. Siguro naman, uh, if your partner is not the same from the kung paano kayo nag-umpisa, and then magpakailang beses pa kayo nag-usap to fix things out, pero wala pa rin nangyayari. So maybe guys, that's number one reason that you should let go. Baka naman kasi hindi na ikaw yung happiness niya. And then, though siya pa din yung happiness mo kahit hindi na kayo both happy, but then that's selfish. Diba? Ikaw nga, you have to be selfless. Diba? For you to say na nagmahal ka. You have to give all your best, everything. But then that's, uh, parang mali na pagkano natin. Kasi dapat pala para sa akin ha, fifty forty na, di ba? Mahal mo siya fifty percent, pero mas mahal mo sa rin. Mahal mo sa rin mo na kahit forty percent. Kasi kung mawala man siya, at least may natira para sa sarili mo. And then, it doesn't hurt like hell. Diba? Pag ganun. Kasi, may mga tao na parang, oh, I can't leave na wala siya. Nasanay ako na andyan siya. I loved her. I loved him. But then, siguro the reality is that nasanay ka lang nasanay ka lang na andyan siya. And that doesn't mean na love talaga yun. I mean, maybe you're just looking for companionship. And guys, you can find it in your friends. I tell you. No? Do not huwag mo itali yung sarili mo sa isang tao na ikaw lang yung ikaw lang yun. Ikaw lang ang masaya. And that, that that other person is not happy anymore with you. So you have to let go. It will hurt you even more kung patagalin mo pa. Letting go doesn't mean you don't love the person. Letting go doesn't mean you are weak. But I tell you guys, you are strong enough. 
Diba? Kasi love doesn't need to be one-sided. If you feel that ikaw na lang yung lumalaban para sa inyo, ikaw na lang yung kumahanap ng way para mag-work kayo, then it's not a relationship anymore. A relationship is a partnership. O saan, same kayo ng go, same kayo ng gusto ma-achieve with, and that is happiness. Diba? Success sa inyong relationship. At hindi parang nagdurusa na yung isa dahil gusto nang umalis. And then, ikaw, ayaw mo. So you have to free yourself first from the thought that hindi mo kaya na wala siya. Well, you can. It's just a matter of decision, choice. Piliin mo ang sarili mo. And enough na natinini mo siya ng matagal or kung ilang mas Diba? If you are not sure with your partner kung ano yung nararamdaman niya towards you kasi parang na-feel mo na ikaw na lang yung lumalaban please let go. Diba? Mas masasaktan ka lang talaga kung ikaw na lang yung nag-hold on. For example, I give you an very ano lang na example guys. Diba? Ka dalawang tao na may hawak ng plastiko. And then, other person let go of it. Sino ngayon ang masasaktan? Diba? Itong tao na to na nag-hold on pa. Sa kanya, pag binitiwa, binitawan ng isang tao, ay ng partner niya, sa kanya yung impact. Siya yung mas masasaktan. Kaya kung na-feel mo na na ikaw na lang ang lumalaban para sa inyong dalawa, na dapat kayong dalawa, kasi nga, relasyon, you better wake up. Choose yourself. And kaya mo yan. Like, sa isip mo lang talaga yan na parang hindi ko kaya pag wala siya. My God, nabuhay ka na wala siya before he came. Buhay ka! And then you will be alive also pag mawala siya. Mabubuhay ka din. It's just a matter of mindset. Well, hindi natin yan masasabi ng ganun kadali. Diba? Kasi pag in love ka, you are blinded with that love. You can't see other possible things. You can only see isya, siya, 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 kayo, kayo, kayo. Diba? Kasi when you are in love, we try to fix everything. Even the things that are not possible to fix. Kasi ayaw na. Mafi-fix lang man ang isang bagay guys kung pariho niyong gusto na ma-fix pa. But then kung ikaw na lang, kung ako na lang ang may gusto pa na ma-fix pa ang isang bagay, then Believe me, it won't. It won't happen. Walang mapipit. Instead, lalo nyo pa ang pahihirapan ng ang sarili. So you have to learn to let go. Hindi ka, hindi ka talo. Instead, ikaw yung panalo. Kasi you learn to choose yourself over the person that you choose many times and then just in a matter of what days weeks months nakapag-decide siya na ilang ka you'll be thankful kasi as early as that nalaman mo hindi pala siya kesa magtagal kayo and then doon mo pang malalaman na hindi pala talaga diba? sa akin ha, yun yung masakit. Yung pinatagal niyo pa. And then, you just end up living your life. Super. You are uh, capable of being happy after letting go of someone you love. Aww. Kasi lahat 
hindi lahat ng hindi lahat ng story sa pelikula or sa novels or sa fairy tales may happy ending. Diba? Kasi hindi lahat ng bida sa pelikula ay nakakapuloy yan guys. Not all the time. Kasi nga sa, ma sa narinig ko nga yung us parang binibase natin din yung love story natin sa mga fairy tales na napapanood natin sa mga telenovela. Well, it's not can work like that. We have to be practical na hindi magiging isang masayang ending palagi. Unless, guys, unless both of you choose each other. Siguro yun yung pinakamasaya. Diba? That you have the courage to choose your partner at the end. Kahit ano pa man yung hirap na pagdaanan mo. But then, hindi kayo sa muko. Um, pinili niyo. Pinili niyo ang isa-isa over those mahihirap na sitwasyon. And please do not waste those mo those ano ha, na mga gano'n. Kasi it's a test of your love for each other. Diba? And how or how to what extent you can uh, do for your partner. Diba? And then, yes, life is full of surprises. So, expect that hindi puro happiness yung mangyayari sa inyo sa loob ng relasyon na yan. Expect that may mga negatives. May mga pagdadaanan kayo na magtetest sa inyo kung gaano ba katatag yung relasyon mo. Diba? And then that that uh, problems will make that relationship uh, strong kung piliin ba din sa kundi ng isa't isa. But then, if and only if ikaw na lang yung lumalaban sa relasyon mo, let go You can be happy again. As happy as you are before you came. Right? Happy ka man before pa siya dumating. Siguro nag-add lang siya ng mga memories and all na pwede mas nakapahappy pa sa'yo. But then you are happy then. So you can be happy again if he chooses to be happy. Diba? Kung baga, nasa sa'yo yan, guys. Kung pipiliin mo na lang ba malugmuk dahil inuwan ka or dahil naghiwalay kayo or you have to rise from that and be who you are and be do everything you want. Do this and do that. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Na single ka. Until such time na matagpuan mo yung taong para sa yun. Na pinagpray ka. No? Ang sarap siguro niya. And then by that time, I'm sure your heart your mind is really to love you too. As you learn to let go. Not just the person, but the hurt, the, the burden, the negative feelings of being alone, of being left behind. Let go of it. And try to be happy again. I know it's not that easy, 
but then you have to try. You really have to try. You can't tell that. Hindi ko man kaya. Hindi ko talaga kaya. Without even trying it. Try it. You have your friends. I know you have your friends. Wala naman sigurong tao ngayon na walang friend. Diba? So you have your friends. Before, I also got the perk up in that situation. And then I turned to my friends. And I know they were there for me. Bumalik ako sa kanila. Dahil inuwan ko ng tao. Naging dahilan ng pag-iwan ko din sa kanila. But then friends are friends. They will accept you again. Sabi nga nila, let go and reconnect to the people you lose sa paglaban mo sa isang relasyon. Reconnect with your own friends. Makinat mo yung connection because you are in a relationship. Reconnect with them. Spend time with them. Spend time with your family. And of course, spend time with yourself. And by that, marami kang marirealize talaga that, oh God, okay. Kinaya ko mag-live go. Kinaya ko, kaya ko pala. And also by the help of him above, because I believe that Everything happens for everything. Right? I also believe that ganun din ang paniwala mo guys. Hindi ipibigay sa inyo ang isang problema kung hindi niya alam na kaya mo mag mahal niya. Right? Kung kaya mong mahalin ang isang tao na hindi pala tama para sa iyo how much more love you can give to that person na nakatagahan na ako sa'yo. Diba? So, huwag kang mawala ng pag-asa. If, if you think that you are losing yourself and trying to fix things in yourself alone, na hindi na lumalaban ang partner mo, then let go. Learn to love yourself. No? So, uh, I hope guys, may, may na-share ako na something sa mga tao, may pinagdadaan. Na, guys, let go. Let go of the pain. Let go of the burden. And be happy. I know you can. Because you were happy before you could. I know that. We all know that. So that's all for tonight guys and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel where the logos and see you in another one and sorry because you have a lens and I will eat and shout out my game and shout out to my friends Nelsi and Roger and his friends put in a whole lot more names and I'm sorry sorry but next time I will to the legs of the bell but also and up by your mouse and subscriber. So thank you guys, thank you. And then I really try to upload videos for you guys. Lalo na yung mga OFW friends ko. Joy and her friends. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye! God bless guys!